Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. In the last episode, we saved a Deputy Beagle from the Powder Gangers over here. And we're going to take a little bit of time to continue going through the rest of the facility, I think, to uh, try to gather as much stuff as we can. So let's go up to the second level. We'll start sneaking around here so that hopefully I can start getting some sneak attacks in. I keep getting into these gunfights that I don't really want to be in. It's a very easy door that's locked, so let's see if we can get in here. It feels like the um, bobby pins are a lot more sturdy than they were in Fallout 3. Oh! Frickin' ow. Five, six round dynamite. I don't need an egg timer. We'll take that. And the varmint rifle. All these varmint rifles are allowing us... Okay, we can't go in that way. It's going to allow us to keep our varmint rifle condition fully... Fully, in, fully, fully maxed out, or at least as close to maxed out as we can get. Okay. I imagine there's going to be some guys in here. No? So are they just in rooms? I have... Oh! I was about to say, I have dudes. Come on. Shot. Oh, I'm getting shot from behind. Come on. Ugh. Jeez. These guys are annoying. All right, five foot beer, case, dynamite, uh, another varmint rifle. There's so many dudes here, I can't, like, get... <laughs> uh, bobby pin, bottle caps, cases, another varmint rifle. 9 mil pistol, bottle cap, case, then I'll take all of that. Uh, since we have so many extra varmint rifles, let's just keep, let's just keep repairing what we have. I can live with that. If they're going to give them to us, we might as well use them. I'll cast Cleaver, another mar varmint rifle. Yep. No sense holding on to them if they're just going to give us a near virtually unlimited amount. Take that pre-war money, why not? Is there anything in the desk? No. Nothing in... Okay. I don't see any more red lines that would indicate bodies. Ransom note. this door to prim that goes back outside so i just want to double check and make sure that we've collected as much stuff as we can very easy definitely take some drugs Spring outfit and pre-war money. I'll take the spring outfit, but again, I don't think that's going to be useful to me because it's going to have like a one damage rating. Yeah, it has no damage damage threshold. Hmm. I'm just trying to take the extra psycho there. Okay. I think that clears out this entire building, so let's go talk to uh, what's-his-face. 
Deputy Beagle, and maybe he'll be able to give us some more information on where we're supposed to go next. Right, we already did all... Oh, wait, there's another door here. All right, down we go. Down. Whoa, whoa! Jesus, guy is tough. Where was he? Oh, I, I, I walked right over here. Whatever. Okay, we just gotta get out of here. Oh, I think that's an elevator. That's probably why we couldn't go in there. So I have no way of getting into here. Which is frustrating. Because even with that magazine, it wouldn't put me up to 75. I would imagine he went back to the hotel over here, Vicky and Vance. Mm. Guessing he's off in this direction then. Oh, there he is, he's right there. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? We? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prim. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the power gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay. Are we done with that? They went that away. My kind of town. Talk to him about protecting the town. Uh, I mean, experience points, I guess. Hello again. I don't suppose you... Aren't you sheriff? Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without... What about, what are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. All right. I guess I'll do that then. You will. That's the sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also Okay. That works, I guess. But uh, we need to go. I, I, I'm. I know the freaking. I know the lieutenant guy is not gonna. He's not gonna do anything. Let's go. Uh, am I able to quick travel over to that? No, of course not. So we'll walk over there real quick. We'll talk to the lieutenant, see what he has to say. But I'm pretty sure. If memory serves me well, we have to go to that correctional facility and convince the ex-convict guy to take up protection. But for a sense of thoroughness, we will go and talk to the lieutenant, see what he has to say. He's going to give us a bunch of excuses about how, oh, I don't have what I need and blah, blah, blah. So this is mostly going to be a waste of time, but we'll talk to him anyway, because why not? really like this varmint rifle. Be nice if we can get a scope on it, though. All right, 
right, Mr. Hayes. Let's, uh... Yeah? Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. What do you need? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Okay. Have you gotten... Uh, okay, well, let's try to do that first. I still think that that's probably going to be a waste of time, but... I really don't want to go to the NCRF facility, the NCR facility, because I don't remember if that's a big waste of. T I don't remember if that's a, uh, a a fighting situation or not. Because yeah, and they hate they hate me there, so I'd rather not have to fight my way in. If I can get to, wait, what did he say? My kind of town. Let's switch to that one. What does it say here? Yeah, so we'll go down to this outpost and see if we can get some assistance from them. Is there a way out of here? Or do I have to walk all the way back around? All right, whatever. Ooh, this is annoying. Okay, I think I can get out through this way. Maybe. Yes. Okay, so basically we just have to go all the way south and get to that. Uh, that was weird. I'm gonna quick save. The whole thing just froze up on me for a second. That was interesting. I'm not sure why, but whatever. Uh, yeah. So we have to we have to make our way up there. So. I'm not gonna bore you with me walking all. Well, actually, there's build. See, the problem with me skipping con, skipping through content is, is that I never know when something interesting is gonna happen, and I don't want to have to remember to press the record button again. I know that for you guys, you probably would appreciate it if I skipped over trekking content like this. And the only other option is for me to actually do heavy video editing, which I can't stand doing. I would love it if I could just record the video footage and then have somebody come along behind me and fix the video for me to make it to cut out the boring parts and make it more interesting. Oh, uh, we got to kill this guy. Got him. Is there any more? Okay, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why we got karma out of that, but I'll I'll take it. Buff out, cleaver. Take the, we'll take the dynamite and all that. I need to start repairing these these nine mils that I've been picking up because I picked up a bunch of them. Yeah. So let's do that, and we'll do one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we have a fully fully repaired nine mil. Pistol, which will be nice. I need to sell this incinerator. That's a, a fair bit of weight that I don't really need to have on me. Okay. There's something right here. Oh, here we go. Stop moving. Jeez, man. Psycho purified water. I'm hoping that there's... All right, I'm going to quick save. I don't want to waste stem packs right now. If there's a bed in here... Ooh, okay. Yeah, these are all bad guys. Sneak. 
Sneak attack on that one. Almost a sneak attack on that one. They're probably gonna come through the door here in a second. Oh! Never mind. Okay. Grenade rifle. So we got another grenade rifle. Didn't we already have another one? Oh, mercenaries grenade rifle. Just out of curiosity, is that something I can use to repair? Nope, it's gotta be the same one. So that's kind of lame. I was hoping to find a bed in here, but we'll have to wait and see. Why are they always to the left? Fortunately, they can't get to me, so that's good. I'll take both of those. I can live with that. And then ideally, I'll be able to sleep in one of these beds after I steal this guy's stuff. Storm chaser hat. I've already got a perception item, so I don't really need that. Can't sleep while there are enemies nearby. What enemies are nearby? There's something over here, it says. Oh. Okay. So now can I sleep? Yes. What is that? Star bottle cap. Okay. Well, at least we got something cool out of coming into here. Empty bottles. Take a pack of cigarettes. Okay, well, let's continue on our journey then. We at least got to rest out of all of that, so that's a good thing. So at this point, we just need to... I don't want to go anywhere over there. We need to get up to the statues up there because that... is where the outpost is. I don't know. Okay, there's another building over here we can kind of go into and see if there's anything cool. But, I don't know. Because as much as I want to hurry up and get up there, at the same time, like, I don't want to pass up cool items that we might be missing out on. I wonder what I need. Oh, crap. Alright, I need to switch my- Oh, pistol! Could have been pretty bad. Is that it? I see another line. We leveled up. Okay, so definitely I want to get my sneaking and lock picking up to par and then all right, so I have just enough to put one of them up by oh let's do let's do that so that we can unlock the next level of lock picking stuff. As much as I'd love to do that. Doesn't really make sense. Run and gun reduces the accuracy penalties of one-handed guns and energy weapons while running or walking. 
two more skill points every time you advance in level. Dude, I definitely want that. Double the bonus from reading magazines. I really want that, but I really want, I also really want this because now I can do three levels. I can keep everything in multiples of five by getting, uh, okay, we'll just, we'll just do that because as much as I, as much as I want to level up faster, it makes more sense to do that. So that's fine. Okay, it doesn't look like that's a building that we can go into. I do want to check and see if there's any items in this little garage area before we go inside the building. Sunsets Hasparilla. Okay. Now let's go see if there's anything cool in here. I probably should have bought that, uh... Oh, but it was a Silence 22, not a Silence 9 mil. Let's see what's in here. There does not appear to be... There do not appear to be any enemies. I don't really want yeast. Not interested in any food. Ooh, bobby pins. Definitely take those. And any booze I find. I'll take all the booze. Ammunition box. Nice. We'll take all of that. Okay. Oh, I'll take the purified water. Stim pack, definitely. We'll take all of that. We'll take the journal and the vodka. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here that's uh, we'll take that. Okay. I guess that's it, then. Continue. Well, let's check out this truck over here. Then we'll walk up to the outpost over there. We got some ammo out of that. That's better than nothing. Let's quick save so that we don't have to redo that. What's this over here? Another truck. Not seeing any potential hostile threats anywhere over here. Doesn't look like there's going to be anything cool in this truck, though. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And there's some boxes. No, they're just some open crates. So yeah, up there is going to be where we are going to find the NCR outpost. But I think we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. So hopefully you guys are having lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you are and pushes the video out to more viewers. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description if you'd like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business. Again, thank you very much for your time and I will see you for the next one.